Hi there friend, it's Trevi. I'm not sure where you live, but I do know that every nation, in fact every city, seems to have its own challenges. And for the people living there, it can feel like it's just too much. But what if there's something we can do to bring life, real life altering improvement to our own lives, our family, our cities, our communities, our nations? What would you say if I showed you your city in 10 years time and no matter how good it looks right now or how bad it looks right now, it's going to look so much better. Would that help you enjoy life right now? Picture this, it's 10 years from now and the streets in the city that you live in are clean. There aren't any potholes, nothing to be seen. There's no litter in the street. Business is booming. People are smiling and friendlier than ever. And it's globally acknowledged as one of the best cities in the world to live in or visit. There's a transparency and honesty that's real. Jealousy and corruption in local government is non-existent and your crime, the, city in, the crime in the city has decreased to practically zero. Unemployment and homelessness are also practically zero. The elderly are honored and respected and living longer. The young people are polite to all and have a fresh vision for the future and they're fired up with purpose. Schools and universities are full of happy, excited students who are achieving greater results than they ever thought possible. Everyone is prospering. The drug abuse rate is fast declining. Less people are getting sick. Hospitals and doctors are admitting that people are being healed even without their help. Even the farmers on the outskirts of the city are prospering. Their livestock seems to be healthier than ever before and, and the crops are nothing short of amazing. God's presence is totally evident. Jesus is glorified. Strongholds are broken and witchcraft and false religion has lost its hold. And even non-believers have to acknowledge that what they're experiencing is way beyond their wildest dreams. Christians are in unity. There's no jealousy or competition in the ranks. And church growth is at an all-time high with every church experiencing a level of revival they've never experienced before. How could this be possible, you may be asking. If you can dream it, you can do it. You know, it only takes an ounce of hope to break the back of hopelessness. With God, all things are possible. And I believe the Bible is true. It was written by God in order for us to discover the wonderful secrets that God has stored up in it. But we, He's just waiting for someone willing to dig deep enough to find those secrets that could change our lives and even our nation forever. Proverbs 25 verse 2 says, It's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. Jesus gave us a key when he taught us how to pray. And in Matthew 6 verse 10, he said we should pray like this. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, he gave us another key. Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Jesus gave us the secret to create heaven on earth. We must pray and invite God to be our king, to be king over the, our city, king over our nation. And we must go and make disciples of all the nations. If it were only up to us, I'm not sure that we'd ever be able to heal the world and make it heaven on earth or even bring it to some kind of normalcy like we had before COVID-19. But it's not just up to us. Jesus said he'd be with us. He said, only believe. All things are possible to them that believe. He said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that you can make and give us heaven on earth. Lord, you can give us a world that is just so full of glory and grace. Timothy said we should pray over, or Paul said to Timothy, pray over the, those in authority. Pray that, because then you can have peace in your city, peace in your nation. 
Lord, we pray for our country. We pray for our city. We pray for our community. We pray for our family. We say, God, come and be king over our lives. Come and let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us the grace and the strength and the anointing to go and make disciples of all nations so that we can have a world where people are happy, where, Lord, you are glorified, where the light shines. Lord, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Go and have an amazing day.